This is Jeff Carr, and I'm here today to show you how to install our 36-inch work truck step, part number 503679. Now, this step fits from 2013 to current vehicles, a huge range, and it will not fit on any bumper that has a hitch on it. If it has a hitch, you can't use it. That has to be removed, or you just install without the hitch. And so we have two configurations that this step will fit. Configuration number one, will be right over here. If your bumper looks like this, you got to follow those steps on configuration one. If you had configuration two, which looks like this, then you're going to have to follow those steps. So for today, the step we're going to install is on configuration number two. And those are showed in your instructions if you have those in front of you. So we're going to cut to that. Installation time for this uh, is only five or 10 minutes. Now the video will take longer than that because I'm going step by step, but it's very easy to install. We use factory bolts to install them. There are some bolts we use to put our cover on, but this is a very easy installation. So now we're going to show you what parts are needed to install this. All right, here are the tools that are going to be needed to install this. Now, you can do this with ratchet wrenches, just getting the bolts off of the truck are pretty pretty tough so I have here a large impact wrench which we're going to use today to, to remove the bolts uh, then to put them back on we're going to start off with a smaller impact because this thing gets pretty heavy when you're trying to put it back so two of these impacts will be good uh, you're going to need a 15 millimeter 15 millimeter socket that gets off the tow hook that we'll show you shortly and then you're going to need a 13 millimeter to remove the bolts on the truck themselves. So you gotta have those two sockets. Next, you're gonna need two half inch wrenches. I have a box wrench, open end wrench, and a half inch ratchet that will be used to install the cover on the step and, and bolt the step to the mounting brackets. And then when you go to put it back, now if you don't have a, a torque wrench, uh, you know, as long as you use an impact and you're gonna really you know, get that ratchet on good, you don't wanna strip it obviously, but if you have a torque wrench, you want to set it to 35 pound foot setting on there. And so you just set your torque wrench to that setting, torque it to that, and you're ready to go, all right? Uh, and that's in your instructions as well. And then finally, most importantly, make sure you're wearing safety glasses, all right? We don't want anybody getting their eyes hurt, all right? So next, we're going to show you what comes in the box before you install. All right, so when you open your box, you're going to have these components. We have a fully assembled step here. Uh, this doesn't have it, but you'll have a zip tie on here. Make sure you cut the zip tie. That just keeps it from deploying during shipment. So you got a, a step and then you have a left mounting bracket. This would be for the driver side. Then you have a right side mounting bracket. That's a passenger side. Uh, you'll have a cover that goes on top of the step and the hardware here is used to install that cover in to the brackets here. And then of course you've got an instruction sheet included which talks about all the things we're talking about here. So that's everything you're gonna need, your side of it, our side of it here. Now let's get started and install the step. So we're under the vehicle here. Uh, the first thing we gotta do is remove this tow hook. Now, some of the earlier model transits didn't have a tow hook here. Uh, I'm not sure what year it was, but they started putting these on. So this, this has to be removed before we can install our step, all right? So I'm going to use our smaller impact here. You could use the ratchet here, but I believe the smaller one will work. We may have to use a bigger one on the larger bolts that are on the vehicle, but we're going to remove these right now. Okay, make sure it doesn't hit you. And... Uh, you just want to keep these somewhere, um, maybe give them to a friend, but you don't need it, all right? We'll go to our next step. We're here under the passenger side near the exhaust pipe, and we need to remove these two factory bolts here. Now you're going to use your 13 millimeter socket. You had to use a 15 millimeter for the tow hook. Now we're 13 millimeter, and I'm going to use my larger impact wrench because these are a little tougher to get off. So here we go. Alright, so we're going to remove, that's removed here, and you do the exact same thing on the other side. We'll go over there in just a moment. 
Okay, now we're on the driver's side and we're going to be removing these two bolts as we did on the passenger side. Alright, now we're ready to install our brackets. We're installing the driver's side mounting bracket, alright? And so the two bolts we just removed from here, we are now going to use those to install. Now, this is where configuration one, configuration two comes in. So these holes here are configuration two. These holes here are configuration one. On the back side, we have configuration, this would be configuration two, configuration one, all right? So we're installing configuration two, so we're going to use this position and this position or this hole and this hole, all right? And this, this one goes on the farthest bolt removed towards the bumper, okay? So, and I'm using my smaller impact here to make it a little easier to get that installed. Get the right direction going here, okay? And let's put that, we're gonna put that over the hole there. Through. Okay. Get up in position. Okay, first one's in. All right. Now we're going to put the second one in, and that's going to go in this towards the back of the slot right here. All right. Get out of there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the back bolt in. I found that if I take the extension off my impact, it's a little easier to get lined up. So we get under there and we'll get the thing lined up. Okay, we're in. All right. Now, it's important that uh, when you're putting these in, we don't want to tighten them. Uh, we want about a half of an inch distance from where it tightens up to the bracket because we, we want this thing to be loose. And you, of course, you need enough threads in there so it won't come, come off on you, right? But um, we want to make sure you have just about a half inch hanging down. And again, our instructions talk about that. Okay, so that's just about perfect for this side, all right? You want that loose and plenty of plenty of room for this thing to go up and down, all right? So now we're going to go to the next side. We'll go to the passenger side. Okay, that's how loose it's supposed to be. Great. All right, I'm over here on the passenger side near the exhaust. And same thing as before, configuration two. We're going to use this hole and then this hole, which are the holes on top, which are this one. And this one, okay, for this bumper configuration, all right. So I'm going to use my impact again on the front bolt, make it a little quicker. Okay, then I'm going to take this off to get the back bolt, it's easier to line that up. Okay. And again, you want that to be nice and uh, sloppy and loose here, All right? You want about a half inch gap there. Same as the other, That's, you want to just like that, all right? So, now we'll go ahead and slide in our step. Actually, uh, let's get a little on top of that. So here we have the step assembly. Now, I have just taken the uh, cover here, right? This is just the cover. And I'm just laying that on top. You can see how the holes all match up here.
put it on there. Now, it's probably better if you had someone helping you, but uh, you can do this by yourself. Uh, I'm gonna do this myself. You just pick up the step, you slide it on those brackets, and then we're gonna start putting in the, the bolts to bolt into those brackets. So this is what you do. It's, a, it's fairly heavy, but you just slide these in here, like so. And it, it'll be right about there, and then we'll get our bolts and we'll start lining it all up and we'll tighten it all down. All right, so I went ahead and you're gonna use the front bolts here and the back bolt on the pan going through the cover. And I ran the bolt this direction, this way. On the back, I decided to go this way. It was a little easier for me to get my finger up and hold the nut down. But whatever is easier is fine, but you wanna put a washer on both sides under the, the head and the nut on both sides, right? And then, of course, I use an impact. I just held the top of the Bach wrench and use the impact to tighten. The same back here, you just kind of reach through the back of the bracket, put your box wrench here, use your impact and tighten it down. Do the same on both sides, all right? So that's it for the pan that's now secure. Now we're gonna bolt the brackets all the way tight up against the vehicle. Okay, so I have my smaller impact. We are gonna torque wrench this down when I'm done with this. If you don't have a torque wrench, you know, we recommend using a, a heavier impact to really just suck those bolts up nice and tight. All right? You don't want to strip them, of course, but you want it tight. So we're going to go through now and snug these down. Same to the other side. So I have my torque wrench here, set of 35 pounds a foot. And so, you know, when you use a torque wrench, when you hear it click, it's there. So here we go. Okay, so that clicked. All right, let's do the back one. Okay, both are set at 35. And we're going to repeat the same process for the passenger side. Okay, we're over on the passenger side. We're going to tighten these up and then torque these bolts in. Got to get the right location here. Torque this thing. I have my torque wrench set at 35 pounds and we're going to tighten it down until we hear it click. Okay, click. Let's go to the back hole, back bolt. Okay, it clicked. All right, so we're fully installed here. All right, and we'll show you now how this thing works. Okay, so the step is fully installed and uh, this is kind of like a ballpoint pin, I like to say. You push it to open and close it. Well, this is how our steps work. You just give it a push, and out pops your step. Uh, what's great about this, no matter where you're at, you can close this thing and open it from anywhere on the step. 500-pound reading, then you can open your doors. It gives you uh, great access into the back of the van here. You step up in there. 
away you go, right? It's such a, a more safe and secure step than these bumpers. These bumpers are very slippery, so you can actually just uh, step down here onto our grip strut step, and you're far more safer. So, there you go. Uh, we do recommend in our instructions to use like a garage door lube. Uh, if the steps get a little sticky, you just hose it out, dry it out, and spray that with uh, garage lube on those uh, guides. There are little guides inside of here. Uh, it runs on Delrin plastic right up here. It's hard to see it here, but just spray those front and back, and it'll be good for a long time after that. So, there you go. Enjoy your step. Thank you.